Finally, the general concept of a cause can be misleading. If you think about the window shattering, we said it was the ball. That's right. But it could also have been the window maker. See, if the window maker had not made this particular window, then the window would not have shattered. And if the house builder had not built this particular house with a window in it, well, the window wouldn't have shattered either. So for a single effect, there can be multiple causes. And all of these are valid according to our earlier definition. This is where the concept of an actual cause comes in handy. An actual cause assumes and changes as little as possible, but it changes the effect. If we think about the causes we have discussed, a ball shattering the window does not change much except for the window. The window maker not producing the window makes a far larger difference because then we would have the house with one window missing for quite some time, which would change a lot. Parts of the house would get very wet, for instance. It would be cold or hot, depending on your climate. If the house maker had not built the house, the change would be even bigger. So what you want is an actual cause that assumes and changes as little as possible, which is precisely what the ball is in here. For debugging the same holes, you want to have a cause that assumes and changes as little as possible, but still produces the effect. And that's precisely what delta debugging gets you. Starting with a general cause, the entire input, it produces an actual cause, namely a subset of the input in which everything is relevant for producing the effect. Here's a quiz. I invoke the GNU compiler and it crashes. Which of these are general causes for the failure? Is it me, because no me, no invocation, no crash? Or is it Richard Stallman, the founder of the GNU project? Because without Stallman, no GNU compiler, no crash? Or is it Oxygen? Without Oxygen, no Richard Stallman, no me, no compiler, no crash, probably also no world as we know it, no computers, no electricity. Hmm, interesting. Or finally, is it a bug in the compiler? Because no bug, no crash. Check all that apply.